Welcome back to Introducing Grunt, the JavaScript Task Runner. By now you've learned what Grunt is, the technologies behind it, and how to install plugins. This is the second section called Running Grunt. In this section, we'll discuss the basic ways to run Grunt, some of the basic tasks that are available, and how to get a project started. This is the first video in the second section called Running Grunt, Ways to Run Grunt. In this video, we'll focus on running a simple grunt task with grunt and how it gets assigned in the grunt file. Don't worry about not having your own grunt file to work with. We'll go over some basic concepts first, then show you how to get your grunt file started. The first thing we'll do is install our plugin. We'll type npm install grunt dash jslint dash dash save dash dev hit return. This will download it to our node underscore modules folder. In this grunt file, I'll explain how a task is being assigned and how to call it. Here you'll see that there's one entry in the main array of the grunt file. The top level is JSLint. If you look further down, you'll see that it's been registered as a task with the key of lint. If we go over to our terminal and we use that same command as the key, grunt lint, you'll see that it now runs it. If we wanted to add a CSS linter to that, we could do that by first installing it like we did with JSLint. Don't forget that dash dash save dash dev. Then once that's installed, we head back over to our editor. We add the options. I'm just copying and pasting the info from the readme file of the plugin page that I just installed. I'll get rid of this top one that says strict. We'll be lax today. And I'll make sure this actually points to my CSS. The star star slash star means match anything. Now we'll go down here to our register line. We'll add CSS lint. Hit save. Go over to our terminal. And run that again. And then you can see it's running our CSS lint. One of the special things that Grunt can do is watch certain folders and look for changes and run tasks if anything changes. So I'm going to add watch tasks CSS lint and then for files I'm going to look for star star slash star dash CSS any CSS file in my project. I'll hit save I'll go over to my terminal type grunt watch and now it'll automatically look for any changes to those CSS files and run CSS lint anytime they do. I have a CSS file. Nothing here worth noting except that I'm going to change something, introduce some purposeful errors, and just hit save to see what our terminal does. We go over here and all of a sudden you can see that it's running. In this video we learned the basics of running grunt tasks, how to chain them together, and how to use a watch command. Take a breather as that was a lot to take in. In the next video, we'll talk about some of the different use cases that Grunt is really good at.